What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back and from Hype Beast, eight drops you don't want to miss this week. So this article is a little bit older from March 22nd, 2023. But as a former Hype Beast myself, I have to check in every now and then and see what the kids are going crazy for. If you search hard enough, you might be able to find an article featuring me camped out for the very first Air Yeezys all the way back in 2009. But that's not what this is about. And for the record, Somewhere along the line, Hype Beast, the website that is, went from sharing actual news about fashion, streetwear, culture, skateboarding, to basically just becoming a platform to sell you something on every single article. But they say, featuring Supreme, which has definitely lost a step. I don't believe they are nearly as sought after as they once were. ASSC, which I believe is Antisocial Social Club. They've been memed to death, replicated to death. I'm surprised they're still around as well neighborhood palace and more and of course you got a picture of a box logo hoodie because what would hype beast be without a picture of a box logo supreme with another week upon us we have yet another installment of our product drop series yeah everything is just basically selling you something now it's like no more news but it, it continues leading the list is the fifth drop of supreme's spring summer 2023 collection and the week eight drop of Palace's spring 2023 collection. You can see all hyperlinked because they want you to go there and buy that stuff. And I don't think it's selling out as fast as it once did. Taking a break from its major collaboration series for the season, Supreme's week five range is led by the Cactus Plant Flea Market X Tourist Varsity Jacket, Shot Leather Racer Jacket, Inside Out Box Logo Hooded Sweatshirt, and Reverse Hooded Sweatshirt. Other standouts include the denim painter shirt, scarf sweater with matching beanie, patchwork, jacquard long sleeve top, umbro, jacquard animal print soccer jersey in short, and short sleeve pocket tee. Headwear styles come in the form of the reflective stitch camp cap. And Supreme was hugely popular for their five panel caps. I think those just went completely down the tubes. I don't know if anybody's doing that anymore. Visor stitch six panel and highest mesh back back five panel. The boldly branded accessories this week include the Duralex glass mug, set of six, Candy Heart skateboard. Collaborations this week come in the form of Neighborhood X Saint, I don't know what that is, Saint MX, I don't know, lost me on that one, I'm too old for this one. Collection, a team up between Pop Trading Company and Dickies, third collection from Eames Office and Gelato Peak. And Goodyear X Huff Collection. This week, we also see the release of Tekla's Bedroom Focus Spring 2023 Collection. Finishing up the standout drops this week is Anti-Social Social Club's Spring Summer 2023 Collection. Catch this week's eight drops you, you don't want to miss below. So Tekla, do they have some? Yeah, they have a couple photos here. It just looks like some pajamas. Are they really, it's, it's pajamas? Really? This, this is what they're selling us. I guess you can just get this from Target. Is that it is pajamas? There's bed sheets. I'm sure they're absurdly expensive. I'm not even going to click the link, but they're going to charge you way too much for this pajamas and sheet collection. But don't miss it. Is what they're is what they're telling you. Now I think you could find some of the most unique stuff on the planet at your local Goodwill, but that's just me. Supreme Spring Summer 2023 Week Five drop. Well, I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to wear that purple. Oh, no, there's no way. There's no way I'm wearing the F-bomb on the back of my jacket. And they've been doing this for a long time. I can't believe people are still buying it. And then there was that weird buyout. They went corporate or something, so it's not the same people running the company anymore. But there's no way on God's green earth I'm wearing the F-word on the back of my jacket. Ridiculous. I guess that's a little bit traditional. Leather coat. Supreme. I guess that's the inside-out hoodie. I don't know. It just looks regular. More hoodies. Box logo. 1994. It's like a backwards logo or something. I mean, it's all pretty standard stuff. And again, I don't know if they command this the same respect that they once did. People used to line up. I don't do people even line up for this anymore. I think it's all by raffles. You got to do it online. I don't know if they still have drops as the kids used to call them every single Thursday. I, I guess. I mean, and this stuff is really you can only get like one wear out of this, right? You're gonna wear this twice. Everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, you you you're wearing your Supreme drop shirt again." I never really understood the hype with Supreme. I was never b that big into it. Then they got the Goodyear X Huff. Shout out Keith Huffnagel, who passed, I don't know, a couple years ago. Goodyear jacket, Goodyear shirt. 
I don't know. Obviously, they have to keep changing. I, I feel like they don't keep changing this stuff up, is what I should say, is because people just grow out of it and they sell the same exact thing to a younger generation, which makes sense, I suppose. That's kind of cool, I guess. Goodyear x Huff. Not bad. I guess better than the Supreme. The keychain's kind of cool. What else is on here? Palace Skateboards. Never really understood the popularity there either. 66. It just looks like the Giants logo. They took the New York Giants logo. Right. It's very little originality, but then sometimes they go overboard and it's far too original. It's completely unwearable. Then it kind of, you know, kind of blurs the lines between streetwear and like high fashion nonsense. Eames office. So they have furniture now. I mean, don't miss the furniture drop. Who is this for? Like, I guess like these weirdo startup businesses that are eventually going to go out or that are going to go out of business in six to 12 months. Right. And they're the ones buying this overpriced Eames furniture and a matching Eames sweatshirt, I guess. I'm not really sure. But I mean, there's a market for everything. It's just yeah, I'm not part of the market anymore, I suppose. But I was never really like this was always kind of corny. I guess I was just like, a you know, into Jordans. I do remember the Margiela H&M collaboration. That was kind of cool. But they definitely lost me. Obviously, I just grew out of it. But they're still selling this stuff to young kids and uh, they're racking up credit card debt, I suppose. I don't know how they're really affording this stuff because I used to save my lunch money to buy Jordans. But that, of course, is a different story. Antisocial Social Club. So at least they look like they're finally doing... I mean, for the longest time, Antisocial Social Club was just that one logo, and it had been ripped off, you know, millions of times. People were putting their little phrases in that same font. It got hugely popular, obviously, because Kanye West wore it on a hoodie or a T-shirt one day, and it blew up ever since then. And there was even a story where... They couldn't fulfill the orders. It was all a mess. And I am actually genuinely surprised to see that this brand is not only still around, but they're actually doing different stuff because it probably was just sold out to a corporation. I think it was just some one dude who started it out of his basement or whatever, which, you know, I'm, no shade. I'm just saying, like, it's not it's not the grassroots thing it once was. It's been sold out to some corporation. I can almost guarantee neighborhood and saint in at whatever. I guess neighborhood used to be kind of cool too, like this high-end Japanese stuff. But I don't know. They've definitely lost a step. I am really at the point where I genuinely think you could find much better stuff at a vintage store or even at a Goodwill, and you don't have to worry about spending all your money on the stuff that a, a whole bunch of you know other seventh graders are going to have when you could get something incredibly unique from you know a little mom and pop vintage shop or you know the secondhand store. But that's just me in my old age, I suppose. But Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.